everybody. Welcome to story time. And Maitri's picked the book for today's reading. It's called Kiss the Crocodile. <laughs> Kiss the Crocodile. It's been written by Sean Taylor and Ben Mantle. Let's get into it. Look at the fun these three are having. I know a game, says Monkey. Let's all play Stick Splash! Plish, Splash, Plush! Ah, look at them. They're having a wonderful time. Aunt Eater says, I know another game. Let's play Scary Monsters. Gar, rar, rar. Can you do a scary monster or? <laughs> That's the scary monster. Tortoise says, Let's all play silly dancing now. A pity, hippity, hop, hop, hop. Monkey's dance is so silly, she almost falls in the mud hole. And <gasps> look who's there. It's little crocodile with his big crocodile mum. Aunt Eater whispers, Those are sharp claws. Tortoise whispers, What a lot of teeth. <gasps> Monkey whispers, Let's keep back. But little crocodile spots them. His mum says, You can play a game we like if you want. It's called Kiss the Crocodile. <gasps> Should they play that game? It sounds a bit scary to me. Oh. Little crocodile really wants them to play. He says, I lie here asleep and you mustn't wake me up. But you have to be brave enough to kiss the crocodile. <laughs> Monkey says, Okay, I'm brave enough. Look at that. The monkey is brave enough. Do you think she really is? <laughs> I bet I can actually be brave enough first, says Aunt Eater. Oh, I bet maybe you can't, says Monkey. But Aunt Eater checks to make sure little crocodile looks asleep. Then she tiptoes over. So quietly, she reaches down even more ever so very quietly and <gasps> kiss the crocodile. Look at that. That's a lovely anteater and crocodile kiss. What's going to happen? Are you scared? My hands are trembling. I'm too scared to turn the page. <laughs> Little crocodile gives a small snort. But he doesn't wake up. Ah. Anteater asks, Who's brave enough to kiss the crocodile next? Tortoise thinks. Then he says, Me? He checks to make sure little crocodile still looks asleep. He walks over very, very, very slowly. He reaches his lips up even more. Very, very, very slowly. 
and kiss the crocodile. Smooch. <laughs> Little crocodile moves an eyelid. But he doesn't wake up. Daughter says, How about you, monkey? Okay, says monkey. But she doesn't move. You said you were brave enough. And Eater tells her, I know, says monkey. And she goes a little bit. And then she comes back. It's only a game, whispers Anteater. And Tortoise says, Kiss the crocodile. So Monkey scampers quickly across. She swings down in a hurry and kiss the crocodile. Smack! And little crocodile wakes up! <gasps> Monkey's scared. Her heart is beating really fast. Are you scared too, Maitri? No. <laughs> Crocodile's mouth is open really, really wide. And Monkey's standing right there, right before his eyes. Monkey skids and scurries. But little crocodile skids and scurries faster. So Monkey turns around and she says, we were only playing the game you like. What happens now? And little crocodile says, Now, can I play a game you like? <laughs> so he does. And look at the fun these four are having. They play stick splash. And guess who makes the biggest splash? Who is that? Bloosh! They play scary monsters. And guess who's the scariest? Crocodile. Nap, 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 nap. Snap, snip. The crocodile, of course. They play silly dancing. And guess who's the silliest dancer? Crocodile. Uppity, uppity, bippity, boppity, dippity, doppity, doo. Then little crocodile says, I know another game. Let's all play. Kiss the monkey. <laughs> all right. Monkey laughs. If you're brave enough. Mwah, smooch. Smackaroo. Come on, kiss the monkey. Mwah. <laughs> And that's the end of the story. Oh, that was a rough kiss, wasn't it? <laughs> All right. I hope you enjoyed the reading of Kiss the Crocodile. Well, when I first read the story, I was hoping for something, something to happen. Each time the animals went closer to the crocodile, I thought, okay, now, okay, now, okay, now only to be surprised by how smoothly the story flowed. And that is because we all have our prejudices. Just because it was a crocodile, we thought something dramatic and drastic is going to happen. Well, it didn't. It was a lovely story of friendship and how not to judge our friends, no matter how they look or how different they are from us.